what would happen if Deadpool got the power of the Hulk? Well, that's a storyline I want to read, and I did. So here's the story of various superheroes becoming Hulk and how they would handle the powers. Things are pretty messy. Miles above the Earth, a fight rages on between Red Hulk, General Ross, and Hulk, Thor. The fight starts due to the leader and MODOK using the Red Hulk's gamma energy and turning many of the already powerful heroes into hulked out versions of themselves. As a backup plan, Ross has hired Wade Wilson to help by using a time machine stolen from Doctor Doom. But Wade too was hulked out, turning him into Hulk Pool. As Hulk Pool lands down in the American Southwest, Hulk Pool shouts, "Look!" This place where Bob show on computer box. Bob says, yeah, wow, that's it. The dwelling of Thundra. The place where her and Red Hulk hid the stolen Doctor Doom time machine. Hulkpool shouts, good. Bob sent Hulkpool back in time to kill Beauty Deadpool. And Bob says that there are a lot of logical problems with going back in time to kill yourself. So Hulkpool shouts, no, best plan ever. Do it now. Bob gets to work on the computer telling him, fine, we can try and maybe go back to this morning before we all got Hulkified. Light begins to surround Hulkpool and suddenly he finds himself on a pirate ship. Blackbeard Thing shouts, Avast, another landlubber from the future. And Hulkpool shouts, yes, Hulkpool on pirate ship. Bob radios in stating that he can see that the time period is 1717 and for whatever the reason, the time period that Doctor Doom sent the Fantastic Four to in order to retrieve Blackbeard's treasure, which somehow allows him to rule the world. One of the pirates shouts that there's a water spout about to take down the ship and Hulkpool shouts, Stupid storm, not ruin Hulkpool's chance to swap the poop duck. He then claps his hand, making a thunderous shockwave calming down the waters and Thing tells him, well, That was great, I'm gonna make you my first mate. Bob decides that maybe he should just skip ahead a few months and see how things go, you know, with Hulkpool in time, at the pirate time. He shouts, This am awesome! Being pirates is best fun ever! And Thing tells him, Right? When I was on the Fantastic Four, everyone called me a monster! Here, I'm still called a monster, but then everyone forks over their treasure! And now we can go back to putting the hurt on anyone that we want! Hulkpool takes a bite out of his chicken leg, telling him, Hulkpool not killer! That remind Hulkpool of his mission! Need Bob to get! Suddenly, there's a booming sound coming from the outside, and a crew member runs down shouting, A pirate ship has its dead to rights! Hulkpool and Thing run out, but before Thing can ask what's going on, he's blasted by a cannonball. Hulkpool grabs the cannonball and pulls back, shouting, This is like baseball, but fun! He then throws it, hitting the sails of the British ship, and then the Thing gets up and throws one, except his is caught by a giant kraken! The Kraken grabs Hulk, Pool, and Thing, and back in the current time, Bob is looking at the monitor shouting, Holy cats! He frantically starts hitting keys, telling them that he really doesn't want to know how this works out. But there's another flash of light, and as it fades, a giant red dinosaur bites down onto the Kraken, and Hulk, Pool shouts, Boss Cool! We make you official pirates like us! Bob says that the machine now says that they are in 2010, and it looks like prehistory with Devil Dinosaur and Moon Boy? After getting away, Thing says, Hulkpool, what's your deal? Someone send you up in a rock or something? Hulkpool grabs a tree, spinning it around to make fire, and he says, No, Hulkpool get changed by glowing water and blimp. Hulkpool not mine, though. Thing then asks, Is your buddy with the time machine coming back for us, because maybe you can send me back to my time as well? And Hulkpool tells him, Oh yeah, Bob! Do whatever Hulkpool tell him! And then Hulkpool proceeds to shout, Bob, over and over, flailing the flaming tree. Soon a white light covers the area, grabbing Hulkpool and the thing, but before leaving, Hulkpool grabs Devil Dinosaur, taking him along for the ride. Better take Bitey Red Thing, too. Could come in handy. Meanwhile, in 1873, Hawkeye hangs out with the Two-Gun Kid, stating that one minute ago he was fighting Kang the Conqueror, and now he's hanging out with the great Two-Gun Kid. Two-Gun says that it must be some future that he comes from, and just as he says that a light flashes and Hulkpool appears with Devil Dinosaur. And Two-Gun shouts, What in tarnation! Bob shouts, Okay, chill! I got this! I can put everyone back where you came from! And in another flash of light, everyone disappears. Hulkpool reappears and says, Hulkpool think you sent too many back in cold here. Just then, Captain America runs by shouting, Bucky! And he runs straight into Hulkpool. Steve falls down and he says, I've gotta hurry up and save Bucky! Hulkpool then shouts, Captain Jamarico, what Bucky do wrong? Both look up and they see Bucky riding a missile. And Steve says that Bucky was trying to disarm the missile before it exploded. So Hulkpool shouts, Hulkpool, not let that happen! Hulkpool going to save boy! 
Hulkpool grabs onto Steve Rogers and he jumps onto the missile. And Steve shouts that they have to turn this thing around before it hits American soil. Hulkpool pulls on the missile to steer it. And Steve says that they are now heading south, southwest. Based on the information that we found at Baron Zemo's lair, I know a good place to land the missile. A little while later in Germany, Red Skull toasts with Adolf Hitler about his self-assassination. But before the two can drink, Red Skull begins to hear something and then he sees Hulkpool riding a missile into Hitler's castle. Before the missile can explode, Hulkpool jumps off of it shouting, HA! EAT THAT HITLER! Later in America, Hulkpool, Steve, and Bucky ride in a car in a parade in their honor for saving America. As the car rides along, a light appears and Bob says, Okay, I got it! And Hulkpool shouts, No, not now, Bob! America love Hulkpool! But Hulkpool is pulled into the light and he shouts, Gotta go, friends! Smash Japan for Hulkpool! Steve salutes him, telling him that their country thanks him for his help. And that's when Bob tells Hulkpool, All right, I'm gonna pretend I know what's going on, and as you travel through the time stream, don't touch anything! Suddenly, Hulkpool is now thrown into Hell's Kitchen. Right at the time that young Matt Murdock pushed a blind man out of the way of a speeding truck. The time that he was granted his powers. Just as the truck is about to tip over, pouring the toxic waste onto Matt Murdock, Hulkpool says, I will save you! And he knocks the truck out of the way. Another light flashes, pulling Hulkpool back, and he tells the boy, You brave little boy, running out like a daredevil! Where Hulkpool now? Out of nowhere, a speeding car comes barreling down the road, about to crash into a tree. Hulkpool catches the car, telling the Doctor Strange inside of it, Stupid mustache. You almost hit tree and mangled hands, which would then lead to a pilgrimage to Tibet to find old sorcerer. But before Steven can thank Hulkpool for saving him, Hulkpool is pulled back into the time stream. He then goes on to save the Fantastic Four before their spaceship can explode, Peter Parker before he can be bitten by a spider, Tony Stark before he can become Iron Man, and he even prevents Bruce Banner from getting caught in the Gamma Explosion. Over the radio, Bob shouts, Wait, 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 wait! Man, now everything is all kinds of screwed up! Bruce wasn't supposed to be saved from the Gamma Explosion. Bob then grabs Hulkpool, telling him, This point, you still existing as something else. But I got it now. It's time to go back to the current time. At that present moment, Wade Wilson is currently getting kicked out of a strip club when Hulkpool appears. And Wade asks him, Are you my fairy godfather? Hulkpool tells him, Me going to kill Deadpool! And then he throws him out of the building. Along the road, Wade says that he's had some really interesting bleeding going on right now. And then he shoots back, telling him, And I am not into being killed! As the explosion goes off around Hulkpool, he asks, What wrong? Me thought you so good at killing! And Wade shouts, I am! I'm Killy McKillington of Murderville, Ohio! Wade gets up and he runs over to the dead mobile to grab a few extra guns. But Hulkpool just punches him into his van and Wade asks, Who are you? Hulkpool tells him, You know who me am. He then takes off his mask telling him, Me am you. Look at future Deadpool. Wade says, Man, do I like get nuked or something and become the most awesome Hulk ever? If that's the case, I can finally take that contract out on Galactus. Hulkpool kicks the van shouting, You still not getting it. Killing is wrong. As Hulkpool grabs down onto Wade, Wade grabs a blade and he stabs it into Hulkpool's skull, telling him that it's a genuine adamantium claw. The combo of him being a Hulk is pretty scary, huh? Hulkpool grabs the claw and he pulls it out, telling him, Only problem with that. You miss Bray. Hulkpool then picks up Wade, telling him, Now we finish. Even if it mean Hulkpool not live either. And he slams Wade into the ground. Wade struggles, telling him, Irony. And Hulkpool tells him, Irony. That's what you say? Deadpool's so funny. Hulkpool then slashes into Wade, telling him, You know what's funny? Hulkpool not get irony. And then he stares at a statue of... Bob. A few seconds later, light surrounds Hulkpool and Bob pokes his head out, telling him, Looks like it's time to come home. Onlookers see Bob and shout, It is Bob! Tis our creator in the flesh! Calling his really big prophet up to heaven! As Hulkpool reappears in the present, he sees a dead aim scientist, and he asks, Who dat? Bob tells him, upper management, hassling like usual. May have hit him with a giant rock. We should probably leave now. The two walk back out and Bob asks, what now? And Hulkful tells him, me think go find Red Hulk. Thank him for fixing me. Me go help him crack skulls. Now to continue the storyline of the superheroes being turned into Hulks, we're going to tell you the one about Spider-Man and Thor. At the National Mall in Washington, D.C., Hulk Spider-Man is caught in a massive explosion, and Hulk Thor tells him, Hurry up and get up, Spider-Thing. And Peter Parker tells him, Nah, I want to sleep. Up early. Thor shouts, You cannot rest. Thor will smash Lazy Spider. Peter gets up telling him, No, I come. Was being funny. Not as easy as it used to be. What things must we do? Thor looks over at the street filled with rampaging people who are all infected with the Red Hulk energy, and he says, Save everything from things like us. Peter scratches his head asking, Save everything from the thing? The thing that dangerous? 
And Thor tells him, no, Red Hulk. Thor can beat Hulk or Thing or Red Hulk. Thor is strongest one that there is. Peter then says, who's the bluest one that there is? And then he notices the museum behind him. Peter thinks back to before he went there to get his powers. And then Thor goes on telling him, Thor must bring peace. Stop smashing by smashing. We'll let you help. Thor noble like that. But as he goes on, Peter doesn't listen, and he webs up the doorway and rips it down, walking inside. Thor charges into the Red Hulks, and as they gang up on him, he shouts, Spider Thing! Spider Thing! Suddenly, Thor electrifies himself, shocking all of the Hulks, and he walks into the museum, muttering, Thor do everything himself. Inside, Thor finds a string of webs, and he sees Peter looking down, asking, What you doing? Peter says, Reading. And Thor asks, What you say? So Peter tells him, Don't know. That's why I'm reading. Find out. Thor tries to pull Peter away, and he says, It is time to smash! And Peter tells him, But reading! Thor then asks again, but Peter continues reading and tells him, Diplodocus! Tanranosaurus! Lightning then begins to spark off of Thor as he shouts, Do you head me, little spider? Or would you like to have Thor start smashing in here as well? Peter thinks back to when he first came there and the girl that he met, and he pushes Thor's hammer down, telling him, Stupid Thor, you're not listening! Spider Hulk just wants to be left alone to read! Puny Thor, go and play your macho games! Thor then shouts, I am fighting because you scared, puny insect. If Spider Thing does not come and help save the day, Thor will smash all of this. So you have no thing to read or old bones to look at. Come! Peter then walks over to Thor and he looks him in the eyes and tells him, No. Thor spins around, charging up to smash one of the displays, and Peter quickly webs him down, telling him, Thor should read words. Said, No. And then uppercuts Thor in the face. Thor flies back and he pulls the flooring out of the ground and Peter webs him down telling him, Tyrannosaurus. Well, it says no touch. Smashing is very bad touching. Thor electrifies the webbing, burning it away, knocking Peter down shouting, Thor will teach little spider a lesson he cannot read. Thor punches into Peter, launching him into an exhibit and Peter leans up asking, had you have enough or you want more? Thor then grips Mjolnir, and he throws it, shouting, Stupid spider thing! You like old things so much? Take Mjolnir! 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 Own its hammer! Now Thor's it very old. After Peter doesn't answer, Thor leans down, grabbing Peter by the head, stating, Thor knows! Say Thor strongest! Peter says, Thor smells strongest. And then Thor bashes Peter's head into the ground. Peter goes on asking, Is Thor flirting with Spider-Man? Not like you that way. Thor then grabs Peter's head again, and Peter says, Thor strongest! Thor gets up, telling him, Now Thor, finish with Super Spider and get back to real battle! Outside, the Red Hulks begin running into the museum, and as they look around, one remembers a tour guide giving a lesson. And he shouts, Boring place! Hate boring place! Smash! Before leaving Peter, Thor steps onto his chest, holding up Molnir, getting ready to slam it down, and as he tries to move his arm, the hammer doesn't move. The words, whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor, begin to glow. And then the hammer becomes too heavy for Thor to lift. Thor begins struggling, keeping the hammer up, and Peter shouts, You know what Spider-Man think? Thor's hammer is Floor's hammer now. And just as he says that, a dinosaur head comes through, and Peter shouts, No, no! He runs into the next room to see the Red Hulks breaking a display, so he punches the Red Hulk, shouting, No hurt, Diplo Dacus! Understand? Happy to repeat itself! As Peter holds the Red Hulk down, he sees more walking up, and he starts counting on his fingers, stating, Huh, more of you than I can count, which is high number, like seven or eight. I am genius, but not good at applying it. Peter runs into the streets with the rest of the Hulks trying to fight back, but the more that show up, the faster Peter is taking down. Back inside, Thor shouts that he tried to pick up his hammer, and then he begins to remember back to his childhood. The day that he hurt Loki after Loki wouldn't help in a play fight, and his father Odin scowled at him. Odin told him that if he let the quarrels of his brother deface him, then he would just be another unworthy brute. Odin then said that if he is to be worthy, he must be wise, which means not being immature. Back in the current time, Thor remembers his father's words and he realizes that he's no better than what he was back then, which is why he is unable to wield the hammer. He kneels down, stating, Thor forgot, Thor will remember. Back over with Peter, the Red Hulks continue beating down on him until they hear the booming voice of Thor telling them, You leave little spider thing alone! No place for bullies! As Thor charges in, taking the focus onto himself, Peter starts webbing up the displays, making sure that nothing else is destroyed. Suddenly, there's a thunderous crack a -ca -cool! blasting through the museum, and Peter says, You are now the strongest one there is, but saved what I could. We stay. All things get smashed. Thor then says, Then we must go. We must be friends and brothers, and never again let the Diplo Doc make us fight. Peter adds, Also, not having face smashed in with Hammer would like that. As the two bond, they see more rampaging hulks heading their way, and Thor asks, what now? And Peter looks at him. Uh, smash? And Thor grins. Yes. Smash! The two run back into the streets screaming, SMASH! 
And there you have it, the conclusion to Hulked Out Heroes. Now, we didn't cover all of the stories in it, just the most fun storylines involved in that weird little multiversal storyline involving superheroes becoming the Hulk. Now, if you want more Hulk storylines, they're right about here. And if you want more Deadpool storylines, click right about here. And if you want to Hulk out with gamma radiation like I do every evening, Mrs. Comic Story and loves it when I Hulk out, then click the subscription button down below. Ugh!